Hey everybody, how you doing? It's Thursday. It's about 14 degrees here. A bit chilly. If you hear a noise in the background, I got my space heater going. Just wanted to come in for a brief moment and encourage and, and read just a little bit if I could. Thank you so very much. Going to a familiar passage of uh, scripture in Daniel. Daniel uh, chapter 3. Now, I believe this is when the king had uh, put up a golden image that uh, he wanted folks to bow down to. Nebuchadnezzar, the king, made an image of gold whose height was three score cubits and the breadth thereof six cubits. He set it up in the plain of Dura, in the province of Babylon. Then Nebuchadnezzar the king sent to gather together the princes, the governors, the captains, the judges, the treasurers, the counselors, the sheriffs, and all the rulers of the provinces to come to the dedication of the image which Nebuchadnezzar the king had set up. Verse number three, then the princes, the governors, the captains, the judges, the messengers, the counselors, the sheriffs, and all the rulers of the provinces were gathered together in unto the dedication of the image that Nebuchadnezzar the king had set up. And they stood before the image that Nebuchadnezzar had set up. Then and her then and herald and cried aloud. To you it is commanded, O people, nations, and languages, that at the time ye hear the sound of the cornet, flute, heart, sackbut, psaltery, dulcimer, and all kinds of music, ye fall down and worship the golden image that Nebuchadnezzar the king hath set up. And whoso falleth not down, if you don't bow down to this thing, and whoso, and whoso falleth not down and worship, and worship, and worshipeth, shall the same in the, the same hour be cast into the midst of a burning fiery furnace. Now that's quite the threat. I want you to worship this image. Or we're going to put you in the furnace. Quite a threat, now, isn't it? Therefore, at that time, when all the people heard the sound of the cornet, flute, heart, sec, sec foot, psaltery, and all kinds of music, all the people, the nations, and the languages fell down and worshipped the golden image that Nebuchadnezzar the king had set up. That's interesting. All the people, nations, languages... They fell down and worshipped that thing. They're in Babylon. How interesting. How we have people in America from all nations and different languages. What images do you think that folks are worshipping? Lowercase g gods are they worshipping today? Is it the golden image of television? Certain set things? Is it their money even a person. What kinds of things do we worship in the stead of our, of our Master, the Most High? What is coming between you and this book? Let nothing, I don't care who it is or what it is, let nothing, especially in these last days where trials and tribulations and the, the cares as they say of this world try to get in your way let nothing stop you from worshiping and praising let nothing stop you from praying nothing verse number eight wherefore at the time certain Chaldeans came near and accused the Jews they spake and said to the king of Nebuchadnezzar O king live forever Thou, O king, hath made a decree that every man that that every man that shall hear the sound of the cornet, flute, harp, 
sackbut, psaltery, and dulcimer, and all kinds of music shall fall down and worship the golden image. And whoso falleth not down, if they don't do it, and worship that he should be cast into the midst of the, a burning fiery furnace. There are certain Jews whom thou hast has set over the affair whom thou has set over the affairs of the province of Babylon Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego these men, O king, have not regarded or obeyed thee. They serve not the gods, that's a lowercase g nor worship the golden image with which thou hast set up. Then Nebuchadnezzar in his rage and fury oh, he was upset commanded to bring Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Then they brought these men before the king. Nebuchadnezzar spake and said unto them, Is it true, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego? Do ye not serve my gods, nor worship the golden image which I have set up? Want to fit in? Get in to fit in? Kind of, let's see, go along to get along? No, we don't. Now if ye be ready, that at which time ye hear the sound of the cornet, flute, house, harp, sec, book, sal psaltery, and dulcimer, and all kinds of music, ye fall down and worship the image which I have made. Well, but if ye worship not, ye shall be cast into the cast the same hour into the midst of the burning fiery furnace and who is that God that shall deliver you out of my hands interesting and who is that God that would be an uppercase uh, G that shall deliver you out of my hand who do you think you are don't you know I'm the king look at the image I set up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said unto to the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we are not careful to answer thee in this matter. If it be so, our God, whom we serve, serve, is able. What is he? He's able to deliver us from the burning, fiery furnace. What is your burning, fiery furnace? It is the burning, fiery furnace furnace of confusion in your mind as you dry your tears each and every morning what is it it says our God your God whom you serve and I serve is able is able beloved is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace and he will deliver us out of thine hand O king and he will deliver us out of thine hand O king can we do that one more time and he will deliver us oh yes he will out of thine hand O king you know what I'm talking to my son I was talking to him about the job he didn't have yet and I said here here you are here is a bunch of bologna and cheese all in the way, doubt, uh, people talking you down, whatever that confusion is, whatever that is, and on the other side is your solution. You got to learn to ignore this. You got to learn to ignore the confusion and ignore the doubt. You got to ignore all of this confusion. Stuff will rip at your heart. Faith is difficult to find in the middle of. Faith sometimes can be tricky to find in the middle of your tears. In the middle when you're feeling like you're running and panting from fear. It's not what it looks like. That's for somebody out there. The situation is not what it looks like. And I told my son that. You have that job before he got the place that he's living in now. You have that place. All the stuff in the middle, the fear, the doubting and all that, let that devil go. Work your way around in faith. And just thank you so very much for my job. Thank you so very much for the place to live. Thank you so very much. Do you think I'm going to be sitting in this camper for long? What do you think? Do you think I'm in the wilderness? 
a little bit because of my own stupidity, let's face reality. But do you think I'm going to be sitting in this little metal box for long? I don't think so. Why is that? Um, if it be so, our God, whom we serve, is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace, and he will deliver us out of thine hand, O king. But if not, be it known unto thee, O king, that we will not serve thy gods. Despite my circumstances, I'm not going to give in to that. I'm not going to give up my faith. I'm not going to give up. Oh, no, I'm not, despite how I feel. We will not serve thy gods, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. Then was Nebuchadnezzar full of fury, and the form of his visage was changed against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Isn't that something sometimes? I said this to somebody, oh, as long as I'm nice to you, and I do everything that you want, we can be friendly. But the minute I don't agree with you, you don't want to talk to me. You don't want to take my calls because I won't agree with every single thing that you want. No, I won't. You know, I was telling someone a little bit earlier and I was on my knees praying with my eyes closed and I felt, I don't know how to describe that, that when we face him, when we drop the flesh coat that he's so kindly put us in. That's how it's going to be. You and him in a private conversation. You and the king of the universe having a private conversation. Once this life in Babylon is done, it's you and him, not your hanging partners, not your mom, your dad, your husband, your wife, your kids, your grandkids. It's you and him. Let nothing separate you from communication with whom you're going to spend the rest of your life with. This earthly realm, it's so temporary. What does he say? Life is as a vapor. It's so temporary. It doesn't feel like it when you're huffing off to work. It doesn't feel like it when you're trying to get dinner together. It doesn't feel like it when you're trying to get everything together. This is very temporary. Think about a lot of the movie stars. That morning, they did not realize it was their last day on the planet. And then they had to have that conversation. Oh, yes, indeed. Again, verse 19. Then was Nebuchadnezzar full of fury, and the form of his visage was changed against Shadrach, Shadrach Meshach, and Abednego. Therefore he spake and commanded that they should heat the furnace one seven times, or seven times more than it was wont to be heated. Crank that thing up, boys, seven times. I'm so upset they won't worship my golden image. <laughs> and he commanded the most mighty men, let's get these strong guys, the most mighty men that were in his army to, to bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and, was, and cast them into the burning fiery furnace. Then these men were bound in their coats their hosens, their hats. Oh yes, hold on now, put their hat on. Their hats, their, let's see. Uh, then these men were bound in their coats, their, their hosen and their hats and their other garments and were cast into the midst of the burning fiery furnace. Therefore, because the king's commandment was urgent, and the furnace exceeding hot. The flame of the fire slew those men that took up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And, the, and these three men, oh hallelujah, these three men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, fell down bound in the midst of the burning fiery furnace. Then Nebuchadnezzar, the king, was astonished and rose up in haste 
and spake and said unto his counselors, Did we not cast three men bound into the midst of the fire? They answered and said unto the king, True, O king. He answered and said, Lo, I see four men loose and walking in the midst of the fire. You're going to be walking in the midst of your difficult circumstances. You're going to keep going and getting up every day in the midst of that fire, in the midst of being a caregiver, in the midst, in the midst. And they have no hurt. And the form of the fourth is like unto the Son of God. He's with you at your lowest point. He's with you in that lake of tears. Oh, yes, he is. He's with you when you're feeling rejected and neglected and unloved. There's no love like that of the Father. Oh, yes, indeed. Then Nebuchadnezzar came near to the mouth of the burning fiery furnace and spake and said, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, ye servants of who? The Most High God. Ye servants of the Most High God. Come forth and come hither. Come here. Then Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego came forth of the midst of the fire, and the princes, governors, captains, the king's counselors, being gathered together, saw these men upon whose body the fire had no power the fire had no power nor was a a hair on their head singed neither were their coats changed nor the smell he'll have you coming out of that situation so clean with every hair in place and you can't smell any trace of your difficulty Yes, indeed. Nor the smell of the fire had passed on them. Then Nebuchadnezzar spake and said, Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Oh, blessed be the Most High, who hath sent his angel and delivered his servants that what? That what? Trusted in him. That trusted in him and have changed the king's word and yielded their bodies that they might not serve nor worship any god except their own god that would be an uppercase g therefore i make a decree that every people nation and language which which speak anything amiss or against amiss against the god of shadrach meshach and abednego shall be cut in pieces and their houses shall be made a dunghill, because there is no other God that can deliver after this sort. There is no other God that can deliver. I just wanted to come in on this Thursday evening and encourage somebody, all two of you that are watching. <laughs> love you so very much and uh, hopefully I will see you again uh, in a couple of days we'll see what happens here I pray for you please pray for me granny's got to get out of this box love you